here's a review I want you to listen to. Ludi Station is like walking into a beautiful dream and not wanting to wake up from it. Each song is a story of a life event that everyone can appreciate and associate with their own life. Welcome Heather Hill, singer-songwriter, and Eddie. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So I was listening to you warm up, and I've heard some of your pieces on your website. It's like beautiful, beautiful voice. But I understand music wasn't your original plan for your life. Well, it, it started out as my plan. So I was a classical piano player right. for years. And then I just had enough of it. I, thought, <laughs> I was 18, I got my degree, and I thought, what am I ever going to do with this? So <laughs> I, I went into the corporate world. So I went to university for, I don't know, 10, 12 years, and then I went into high tech. So I was in uh, VP of marketing and business development for years. Wow, wow. And yes. so then what happened? What was the aha moment where you thought, I've got to get back to my roots? You know, I just wasn't in love with what I was doing. Well, it was a challenge. It was one night I was in England doing a, a deal with one of the phone companies, and all of a sudden I was getting these incredible headaches. And mm. so I went to bed early, and I remember waking up in the night, and I heard this very clear voice say, if you are ever thankful, you'll be continuously creative and grounded. And, and I, the symbol came to me. So the symbol you'll find on my website and on all my materials. But the symbol always reminds me of this big change I had to make. I, I went home. I quit my job, which was crazy, everything that I worked for. <laughs> and I sold everything and went backpacking. And these incredible songs started coming. And it was me against all odds, really, because my friends, my family, everyone thought I was nuts. So well, you had such a, a successful corporate career. It, it was going well, and, and in, it looked like it was going well, but I knew it wasn't, you know, gelling as I, my, my soul wasn't in it. Really? Well, I can tell you, just by l even re reading some of the lyrics in your songs, you have a lot of soul. Talk to us about the journey that you went through in creating This Is Your Second CD. That's my second CD. So um, after all that backpacking, I went to New York, created my first CD. Mm -hmm. And that was a real folk-based album. Incredible things started happening in my life as soon as I made the choice for music. I met my husband. He said, come with me to New York. We'll move there. So I did. Then baby number one came. Wow. So I was out gigging around New York, taking the baby with me, <laughs> nursing in the bathroom. <laughs> so it was, it was quite an interesting journey. And then I just realized I want to have a bigger family. I want to move home closer to my family. And so back to Toronto we came. And my songwriting coach, Orville Hein, produced this album. And I've worked with him for more than a decade. And I just really honor his songwriting and his production. And, um, that's as, how, how I met Eddie as well. Now it's called Ludi Station. Yes. What does that mean? Uh, Ludi Station is a lifeguard station at the east end of the city. It's in the beach area, and I am a runner, and so I run by Ludi Station every day. And um, I think what really happened to me at Ludi Station one day, I was wrestling with being a mom and a wife and all the things and responsibilities in our life. And it was dark and stormy and raining. And I got to the Ludi station and I had a bit of a breakdown. But then I had a discovery that the, uh, and this song came to me. It was pretty much downloaded on me. So I came home and I thought, I'm going to write it out, see, see where it goes. And, and the song has just been very powerful. And for people in the East End, in the beach, I think it, it really captures the essence of this place and how important it is in our lives. They've nearly torn it down four times in its lifetime. And they won't let it, and the residents and won't the, let it happen. The people feel very strongly <laughs> about keeping it. That's right. Excellent. Now, uh, will you be, what will you be performing with us? I am going today? to be performing a song called Last Train. Okay. And what is that about? Last Train, it was a song I was just able to write recently, and I had a very scary chase. I lived in Switzerland when I was 16, and I was getting off the midnight train and I was chased by the person on the train all the way up the hill oh. to where I lived. And it was, it was a very frightening thing, but throughout all my playing over the years, I've found that so many women have related to this song of, of being chased. And either you know, they've successfully been freed of the chase or they uh, have not. So it's been an incredible topic of conversation. Well, I'm dying to hear it, so I'm going to turn Thank it over you, to Glenn. you.